is actually the official act of a constitutionally, con con constitutionally mandated organ of government whose very duty is to account for these funds, audit these funds. Okay, thank you, Council. Can I call on Attorney D? Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Attorney D. The appropriation for the Malampaya funds is found under Section 8 of PD 910. Your Honor, um, PD 910 provides that a special fund is created, um, for, uh, and that is, that, that is what they call the Malampaya fund. And this was issued by then President Marcos way back in 1976. Yes, Your Honor. Now, how do you construe the phrase, and for such other purposes as may be hereafter directed by the President? That phrase um, should be construed as authorizing the president to determine what other, uh, any other purpose that he deems uh, would be appropriate, wherein the fund should be used or applied. It it authorizes the president to use for purposes even outside of energy resource exploitation and development. So you do not believe that the phrase pertains to the purpose of financing energy resource development and exploitation programs and projects of the government? No, um, it, it's more than that, Your Honor. Um, the, the, the phrase such other purpose means um, using the funds even other than financing energy resource exploitation and development, Your Honor. So you think it's for purposes not related to energy resource development yes, and it, exploitation? Yes, it authorizes the president. Now, the President's Social Fund is sourced from the gross earnings of PAGCOR um, under Section 12 of PD 1869. Yes, yes Likewise yes, issued by President Marcos in 1983. Now, what is the purpose of these funds? Your Honor, it states there that it will be used for purposes of um, for doing infrastructure and social civic projects, Your Honor. Now, can you read the infrastructure and social civic projects enumerated under the law? You have A to G. Yes, Your Honor. Section 12 provides, Your Honor, after deducting 5% as franchise tax, the 50% share of the government and the aggregate gross earnings of the corporation from this franchise shall be immediately set aside and allocated to fund the following infrastructure and social civic projects within met the metropolitan Manila area. Letter A, flood control. Letter B, sewerage and, su sewerage and sewage. Letter C, nutritional control. Letter D, population control. Letter E, tulungan ng bayan centers. Letter F, beautification. Letter G, ilusang kabuhayan at kaunlaran projects. Now, do you think the phrase may also be appropriated and allocated to fund and finance infrastructure and social civic projects throughout the Philippines as may be directed and authorized by the Office of the President of the Philippines merely expands the scope of these projects to places outside the metropolitan Manila area. It does more than that, Your Honor. It gives the President the authority to appropriate the funds himself when under the Constitution, the authority to appropriate is lodged with Congress by passing a law. Okay. Now, on the prayer to partially lift the TRO, do you think that the TRO on its use should be partially lifted for the limited purposes of education, educational and medical assistance? Your Honor, we understand the plight of these um, students, scholars, and indigent patients that they are, they are clamoring that the funds under the PIDAP should be released. We understand their situation, Your Honor, but unfortunately, Your Honor, we ha the, the, the Honorable Court is mandated to uphold the Constitution. So unless they can show compelling reasons why it should be lifted, Your Honor, and on our part, we have shown that the, the PDAF is unconstitutional, there's no reason why it should be lifted, even if they're clamoring for, even for, for purposes of human, humanitarian reasons, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you, Counsel. I have no further questions, Chief. Justice Garibu. Please sit down. Uh, I would like to direct my questions to Attorney Molo. 